Okay, so you're making money, you're doing this 100K flip challenge, you got that cheddar, you're ready to deposit it into a bank account. What type of bank account do you open? What type of bank do you go with? I'm gonna tell you about it in this video. Let's go. Okay, so I've opened up a number of bank accounts with my companies and you know personal checking accounts, savings accounts, things like that. And so what you want to do for something like this is keep it super simple. So I've actually talked to my accountant. His name is Drake Van Hall with Performance, Fi Performance Financial. So if you want to reach out to him, go for it. He's awesome. He's helped me out with a ton of stuff. And basically for something like this, like we don't really need a business. We don't need an LLC or anything just because it's going to be like a short term thing. And we're not really going to have any assets per se. So, you know, it's just one of those things like the simplest way to do it is just to do it like a sole proprietor. Uh, which basically means you just file it on your personal taxes. And so just open up a personal checking account. So super simple. Like I like to go with, in this type of situation, I like to go with a bigger bank. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Wells Fargo. I'm going to open up a personal checking account. And the reason that I like going with a bigger bank is because they have more resources. So if I'm traveling across the country or, um, you know, I need to draw money from somewhere or if I need to spend $5,000 on something, like they're not going to flag it and freak out. I'm going with a bigger bank. Just gonna open up a personal checking account and I'll let you know how it goes. Ah, dude, banks are so frustrating. I went in there to open up this account and they were like, oh, it's by appointment only. You you have to have an appointment with us to open this up. I'm like, it's just a simple checking account. Like, I'm right here, just open it up. They're like, no, we can't do it. So you gotta go back home and like set it up online and then when you come through, then you'll be good. So I'm like, Oof. all right, well, I'm gonna go home and do that then. I mean, the reality is I don't need the money right away, so it's fine. But I got to make one more trip to the bank. I'll catch you guys. I'll probably do this tomorrow. I don't feel like doing this today. Resilience is a huge thing in business. You know, after I got done shooting that clip, I'm like, I'm going to go see if another bank wants to take my money and open up this account. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot of TD Bank. Let me see if they're going to open this account. So check this out. Why does this have to be so frustrating? Ah! So that was a giant fail. I wasted over an hour of my time just driving around town trying to get somebody to let, just take the money off of my hands. And so now I'm back home and getting settled in here. And uh, you know, lesson learned that uh, you wanna do some homework before you leave and make sure that uh, you get things set up. Maybe make a phone call so you're not wasting your time driving around. And, you know, just a little business lesson. There's two things. First thing is customer service is just kind of like gone by the wayside. Everyone say hi to my wife. Hey. Uh, customer service has gone by the wayside. You know, these banks and a lot of business establishments, they don't, they don't need to stay open all the time. They don't need to cater to, toward your needs. Like they know that you need them. So it's whatever. So like, Make it a point to have good customer service and you will have more customers coming and working with you than you ever thought you could have ever imagined. So that's the first lesson. And the second lesson is, you know, we talk about making money and taking a hundred bucks to turn into a hundred thousand. And all we talk about is the actual flips that you're going to have to do, you know, but there's a lot of back end work that goes into these types of things. Like you got to run to the bank, you got to run errands, you got to buy supplies, you got to, you know, make sure everything's good with your family. Like, you know, what if your car breaks down? Like all of the like things of life that happen. And so this is just one of those things that happened today and I wasted an hour and that time that I could have been spending growing my business and working on my next flip. So do your homework and just understand that this is a part of the game and we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So try to make the best use of those 24 hours. <sighs> What's up everyone? It's almost midnight right now and uh, I just got done putting together the application for this bank account. So check this out here real quick. I'm on Wells Fargo's website, it says application completed. So now I'm just waiting to go to the bank tomorrow to make the formal deposit. But I wanted to come on here real quick because this is the stuff that people don't see, you know? They wanna say stuff like, oh, it must be nice, you know, oh, you're gonna make $100,000, but they don't see stuff like this. They don't see people working until midnight. I mean, today, I did a whole bunch of stuff. I kept up with all my current businesses, kept things rolling, 
did our coaching call at 8 p.m., um, put the kids to bed at 9, worked until like 11, took a little bit of a break. Now I'm back to working again. It's going to be past midnight. So I want to encourage you guys that I mean, this stuff sucks, but if you continue to do it and you keep pounding, you're going to make progress. And I think we've lost a little bit of that in today's day and age. I think people just want things handed to them and it doesn't work like that. You've got to go out there and get it and you've got to take ownership of it. So if you're going to do this challenge, if you're going to try and make $100,000 in six months, like it's going to take extra effort. So you've got to put your head down and do it. And these are the times that separate you from the rest. So side note and opening up the bank account, but it's super important because this is what separates the good from the great. This is what separates the people that do average amounts of things and and make average amounts of income and people who make huge amounts of income and make a big impact and ultimately live a legacy. What's up everyone? Woke up this morning, was super tired. Stayed up till like one last night just working and um, had meetings all morning this morning. So I've been super busy. It's about four o'clock, 4.30 right now. My gosh, we're running out of time. But I'm at the bank here, third time's a charm. I've got the cash and a check that I'm gonna deposit so I can get this bank account rolling. So hopefully this works. Ah! Yeah, I can pull it up. Give me one second. So frustrating. Dude, so I went to the bank again for the third time, and they told me that, that my application hasn't gone through yet. It takes 24 hours to process, and I did it last night at like midnight. So, oh my gosh, dude, I'm so tired of this bank already. Like, do they not want my money? <sighs> What's up, everyone? Just uh, want to do a recap here on where we're at with the bank account. So I just got an email from Wells Fargo. It's not zooming very well. We just got an email saying that my bank account has been confirmed. So all I got to do is take this money tomorrow, hopefully, and I'll be able to deposit this money. So I wanted to do a recap on kind of why I'm choosing to do banking with Wells Fargo. Like, why didn't I just go with the local bank? And I've already kind of talked about this, but, you know, you want to work with banks in these instances that are nationwide. You know, like I said, I'm going to Moab, Utah here soon. And if I need to access the money for something, um, I'm going to be able to. And it's close to my house, so I figured I would just go with it. So those are really the main reasons why I'm banking with them. Um, I've had some problems in the past. Sometimes if you go with too small of a bank, they can be like too tight on their restrictions and stuff. Whereas like Wells Fargo has processed tons and tons of money. So they're totally familiar with working with customers like me. So I'm gonna deposit the checks and the, the check and the cash tomorrow. So we're gonna have it in the bank account and I'm gonna try and collect deposits for this next flip that I'm doing and we're gonna keep hustling. So if you need a bank account, go get a bank account. My wife was trying to get out of the way in the last video. So here she is. <laughs> Say hi. Go away. <laughs> 